Hi guys, good morning, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to my first day. Kind of get ready with me. I have a few things that I need to do. I just woke up like a few minutes ago, as you can freaking see. It is finally my day, and I'm so excited. I just want to say thank you for 1,400 1, subscribers. I'm like internally dying. Um, I don't want to go, but you know, it's my last year, so I'm just gonna thug it out, and hopefully my senior year doesn't get cut because of monkey pox. Welcome to my bathroom. Um, my hair, oh my gosh, I look a mess. Um, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. I'm gonna start by like brushing my teeth. I'm going to put on some moisturizer because you know I gotta moisturize the skin. And once again, all these products will be okay. This ponytail's not eating. Okay, so style is actually a lot better. I'm going to be moisturizing my face with the hyaluronic intensive cream. I'm going to have everything linked in the description as well if you want to purchase. Used. It's a really, really good moisturizer. Well, I'm going to brush my teeth because personally, I like to do all my skincare before I hop in the shower. I've never been the type to like do that after shower because I just always want to feel extra clean. Like my mom's always like it goes after, but I'm like, no, it goes before. So comment down below like which one you guys do and let a, let a girl know because... So I'm going to be using charcoal toothpaste and my toothbrush, a tongue scraper, and floss pick. My robe is just like chilling back here. And I really like using these. These are really good and especially my tongue scraper. Like ever since I got a tongue scraper, my life has changed. I got that one off of Amazon. That one's the best one. Okay, so I just finished my brushing my teeth and um, I'm now about to hop in the shower. Also, I use sun bum sunscreen, sun bum sunscreen on my skin as well. I love this. It's on because I have like dark, like hyperpigmentation like my skin. <laughs> Yo. If you just like, it does not want to give me a break. But um, sunscreen has really been helping. So we're back from the shower. I feel like I'm being so extra, but it's like my senior year, so I just want to be extra. Um, I also like to put on some aquifer on my Um, So I already did everything I have to. I think I'm going to start doing my makeup now. Um, I have to get my outfit. So yeah. I don't know if you guys want me to do my makeup on camera, because I've filmed my makeup routine so many times. The point so also, I just wanted to have like a quick announcement is that so my sister is having a baby and I just wanted to surprise her a little bit. So I'm going to be linking her Target and Walmart registry in the description. If you guys want to buy something, there's no pressure in buying anything. But if you want to purchase something from the registry, it can make her entire day because pregnancy has been really rough on her. So if you guys want to buy something, it'll be linked in the description. Don't worry, you can buy the cheapest thing on there if you want to. Just want to put that in the video because I just really want to surprise her. But thank you guys. So, okay. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what I do for makeup. If you've not watched any of my videos, you're probably like, what makeup? I'm going to have all my products linked below for y'all. Below. So I'm going to start off with the Huda Beauty. I like to um, kind of just powder up my face before applying any type of makeup. Because I feel like this... So I wanted to start watching a new TV show. And don't, like, I know great, like, if there's any, like, Grey's Anatomy stands, you guys are probably going to attack me. I was talking to my friend about this yesterday, and he's never watched Grey's Anatomy either, so I watch Grey's Anatomy. But the only thing is, like, I'm not about to sit there and watch 15 seasons of Doctors. Like, it's just not, mm, mm Like, I watched, like, one episode of season one. It just wasn't the show. Like maybe it gets better, but I know like half the people that dies. I feel like I just know the entire plot already to the point where I'm like, is it even worth watching the show? Yes, it's worth watching, but I've just got done watching Money Heist. Let's get Money Heist is my show. Like if y'all watch Money Heist, we can be best fr best friends. 
honestly because money heist is such an amazing underrated show and personally i think it's better than squid game like everybody's like oh um squid game is better than money heist but money heist is really the original like i have to watch the korean version and now that i'm like thinking about it put them on and also i love watching all american all american's my show like i've low been slacking on this season i'm not gonna lie but that is really my show I love that show. Like, All Americans, good. I'm going in with concealer. I stole this from my mom. So if my mom watches this, I'm so sorry, mom. I just don't feel like buying my own concealer right now, especially not in this economy with inflation. So, yeah. But back to what I was saying, um, I've watched Bridgerton. Okay, here's the thing about Bridgerton. I've watched it, but like to me, it's so, like the first episode was so boring. So I couldn't like, I could not make it through the first episode and then like episodes are like long. So I tried watching it and I was like, mm, maybe not. Like the only show I feel like I've watched fully is Money Heist. Uh, what else shows? You see, I don't really be watching TV like that, but I wanted to start watching Breaking Bad. I've never watched it. <laughs> I know it's so bad. Uh, yeah, I've never watched that show. I feel like I start shows and never finish them. Like Euphoria, I feel like Euphoria was like overrated. I'm gonna be honest, that show was like all over the place. Like none, of, like the plot from season one to season two made absolutely no sense. Like I feel like they skipped over so much important stuff and I feel like they went in a whole different route. Like I'm tired of everything being focused on Cassie and Maddie, the whole drama boy drama. I feel like the show had so much potential to um, go into different like things that are very since it's about like abuse awareness and like drug abuse awareness and like just problems that happen mental health awareness you know i feel like the show completely went like at 360. i feel like the plot was just like all over the place i don't get me wrong i thought it was all right i just feel like the media like low-key hyped it up maybe that's just my unpopular opinion people are gonna like hate me for that but i think it's true like it's just it was all over the place so i'm going in with the Huda beauty powder under my eyes but i never watched stranger things i watched like one episode but it was like low-key type scary so i was like i'm just picky when it comes to shows i really am and i just like start comparing everything to money heist and i'm like okay but money heist i feel like low-key the third season was very like the fourth of, no the fourth season was disappointing like that season was so boring and I was still mad that Arturo was still alive at one point. Like he just was not dying. Like, sorry if you like any spoiler alerts if you've never watched it, but. Okay, so this is my makeup. I think it actually looks like kind of good. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. I might do it off camera. If you guys want to see how I do my hair, I'll do a maybe a separate video or you could just watch my last video since I kind of have a hair routine in there as well. So that is the makeup routine. Okay, so this is my hair. I just like look very different now that I just did my makeup. I feel so much better. Um, I just went, you know, so this is the hair and makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and um, I need to reply to a text message. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys really soon. Okay, so I just wanted to do a voiceover for this. I'm just putting in my lovely earrings and this is kind of the finished look. Um, also, actually I'll go into where my clothes are from, but yeah. 
So this is fit check. Um, these are my jeans. These are from Boohoo, I believe. My top is from Sheen. And that is the fit that I decided to wear. I need to put on my shoes. I think I'm gonna wear some dunks, but 